Hey guys, so this is probably going to be one of the most basic uh, basic um, Linux uh, tutorial videos that I'm ever going to make. So we're going to show you how to view hidden files. So we're basically showing you how to use the ls command. So I'm in a directory here and I have a bunch of files that are not hidden. Now if you want to view hidden files, you would say ls-a. Now. A is going to list all files, not just the unhidden files. So right off the top, like, like right, right, right by default, you'll see these are normal non-hidden files, but you'll notice there's two hidden files. There's dot and double dot. Dot refers to the current directory, double dot refers to the, the parent directory. Now you're probably looking, wondering what an actual hidden file looks like, so let's create one. So touch dot hidden and touch dot, uh, te dot test. Now a hidden file is anything that begins with a dot. Uh, they're also called dot files and they're not hidden to be secretive. They're just, you know, so you don't have a lot of clutter in your in a directory. So if you don't want a lot of clutter like config files and stuff like that, like oftentimes config files in your home directory are gonna be hidden um, just so they don't clutter up your home directory. But anyways, if we press, if we say ls, we're only going to see um, these three log files in our directory. So we, we don't see hidden or test or the current directory. Now if we say ls-a, notice all of a sudden we see a couple more files, more than a couple more files. We see these two new files we created, hidden and test. So these are both, um, these are both hidden files. And obviously, of course, these are, but these are, these exist in every directory. These are, these just stand for, like I mentioned before, the current directory and the parent directory. So you can ignore those. We'll ignore them for the rest of the video. But um, yeah, the, these two are hidden, hidden files and we can now see them just using A. Now you can also do use L, ls-l, so ls-la to, to display them, you know, in, a ni in nice little columns like this. This will show us, you know, these two hidden files. Um, normally, it would look like this. You want to see the hidden files? It's going to look like that. So that that's that's pretty much it. Um, you you also might want to use the H, the uh, H parameter to see the sizes to see the sizes of the files in human readable format. So that's about it. That's pretty much all we wanted to cover with this much the, the most simple video I'm probably ever going to make for Linux. Maybe not, but we'll see. So hopefully you found this useful or at least interesting. If nothing else, you might want to give me a thumbs up. Um, you might want to hit that subscribe button also and uh, hit the little bell icon. Up. Otherwise, uh, YouTube's probably not going to let you know when we come out with a new video. Um, we do have a lot of great stuff coming up on and we've actually if you want to check our list of videos We've already put out a lot of uh, pretty interesting things some more interesting than others um, We cover a lot of great stuff um, coding servers hardware software 3d printing electronics uh, single board computers robots networking all sorts of great tech related stuff that you're not going to want to miss. So if you, if you want your YouTube feed to uh, you know, be that much more interesting, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button. But more important than any of that stuff, you're going to want to leave a comment down below, especially if you know something that I don't know. Um, definitely let me know, not just for me, but for the next person who comes along and watches this video and reads the comments. Um, leave a comment that for them also. Any, any comments, questions, criticisms, whatever you want to say, I probably want to hear it. So do leave a comment down below. And uh, that's pretty much it for today. So as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.